Hello everybody, welcome to my hot take for patch 65.10. Uh, seems pretty interesting. Uh, so there's there's three new heroes. The first one is no longer Baby Bugbear, now he's Share Bear. Um, it's interesting. So he doesn't give you anything for the first round. And after that, you and your opponent both gain one. Um, like, you definitely want to dream out of him, because he's, like, just worse than Curse King late game, isn't he? Early game, he's he can be better than Curse King, because you can actually, like, spend, you know, all your money on buying men. You don't have to spend any of your gold on a spell. Um, of course, you're getting, like, seven gold for every one that you're giving away. So it doesn't really matter that you're giving your opponent one gold. Like, if it was two gold, it would be insanely overpowered. Um, so... It's going to be okay. He'll smooth out the early game. Um, he'll give you a bit of gold going for the like rolling for things later on, and then you've got you're going to have to dream out of him because obviously if it's, if it's heads up, you just haven't got a hero power because you're giving the same to your opponent. <laughs> so um, you really you really do have to dream out of him in the end game. But I think he'll be okay, okay early on. Um, the Sphinx is very exciting. Very exciting this. The shop sells an extra spell. So that alone, like, is half of what Potion Master gets now. And Potion Master giving a character plus one plus one when he targets it with something just isn't that relevant. Like, it's okay early on, but it, it quickly falls off. Um, whereas this has, when you level up, your spells are free this round. Which can obviously be great just with, uh, just with ball, just with a ball part of hat ball. Like, you know, crystal ball. Um, can just get you loads of free spells um, when you level up, so that's really good in that case. But also, you can get a free level up spell, can't you? Um, a free experience spell can be very powerful, like a, a five gold spell for free on level three can just be incredible. Um, so yeah, really interesting, really interesting. And like mix a whistle can get you for free, and then get another one as well. Um, so. Just a really, really powerful ability, I think. I think that's I think that's really cool. Um, I'm very excited to play with Sphinx. I think it'll be quite powerful. And another one who will also be quite powerful is King Midas. I'm sure King Midas will, will be powerful. Um, you can never find treasures. This includes quest ones. And you only need two copies, though, to upgrade a character. So, I mean, that is incredible, isn't it? Um... You know, you will be doing loads of damage to people early because you'll have, you know, only two copies to double, th like you'll only have to double things that are triple them. So like, you'll actually be doing a lot of damage to people in the in the uh, mid like mid game, and you can just choose things that don't need treasures to work. Um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be pretty powerful. Yeah, you know, upgrading characters is powerful. I think a lot of treasures aren't that impactful, to be honest. So I think this is absolutely fine. Um, I think that, I think he's going to be very good, and obviously you can dream out of him after you've got loads of upgraded things, and maybe like you've just got a, maybe you just get yourself a Hercules, and then uh, and then dream into something else, or yeah, seems pretty good. All right, so they changed Sad Dracula, and I think Sad Dracula is actually a lot better now. I mean, this is really cool. Um, now you attack first. And your first character has slate plus two attack. So it's toned down from the three. But if you put a ranged character in there, like a sure shot or, or whatever, or a, or a uh, shadow assassin, then you're almost guaranteed to, to get a slay, aren't you? The, the first one. Like a, probably more with, a, more with a sure shot or whatever. But even anything, if the fact that you're going first, you're going to get that slay and you're going to get plus two attack. Even a, even a happy little tree. It's got a decent shot. And then... Uh, and then it can start that ball rolling and it will continue to roll because you're always attacking first instead of only having it half the time. Like, it's an amazing, an amazing ability having the first attack each brawl. So, and, and you know, and you can just forget about the plus two later and just have, and just, you know, use a Medusa or a Cupid in slot one or whatever, um, copycat, making sure you get that first attack. So, yeah, really, really incredible. And, and in fact, you don't even need the copycat in slot one. You can play with five men in this copycat in slot two and just use it for getting the first attack. So, really, a huge upgrade, I think, to Sadrak. And I'm ex actually excited to pick him. I never picked him when he was uh, when he, in the old version, plus three attack permanently. So, I'm actually excited to try him now. Uh, Apocalypse has been nerfed. 
which is interesting. I think it's probably fair for ladder. Um, Apocalypse presents a fun challenge. Can you survive till six and stabilize? It was a little too easy to beat at 50 health. It was a little too easy to beat when you're better than the people you're playing against. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you're playing against people who you're better than, yeah, it's pretty easy. But um, if you're playing people on the same level, it's pretty hard to beat and it's very easy to just die very quickly with them, even from 50 health. So I'm not sure about that nerf, to be honest. But I guess on their data, it, it, it you know, it, it's right. Obviously, they, they do. It's data driven, isn't it? So it must be right. Uh, skip now guarantees you seeing a level three character on turn two because you can't lock them on turn one. So that's a good idea. You'll uh, you'll actually be able to spend three gold on a good character, guaranteed. Um, that that is a big upgrade, but it, I think he's still rubbish, only getting two XP. Um, I think he's a lot worse, only getting two bonus XP instead of three. How he used to. Morgan Le Fay now gets an extra five health, which I think is good. I think she deserved to because she was a bit rubbish. And now she'll get picked a bit more. Uh, still still a bit rubbish, but a little bit less rubbish. <laughs> Beauty, I, th I thought Beauty was great. Like, genuinely great. You get... If you, if you roll well enough, you know, like, you really do need to get the... Um, uh, Queen of Hearts early. Um, if you don't get Queen of Hearts early, then she's kind of rubbish. But if you get if you hit Queen of Hearts, she's just incredible. And then you can also get Godmother and stuff. And then obviously you get Good Boy and Pumpkin late game. Um, so like, so she just get great things. Like she's got double chance. Like a lot of the time you've got like a good a good comp, and you're looking for a Good Boy and you can't find it. Well, if you've got Beauty, you can you can just find a Pumpkin and well, hey, that's just as good. So. I think she's. I think she. I thought she was quite good, but dependent on getting a, a Queen of Hearts is, is the biggest thing, really. I mean, that is the massive power spike, is the, getting the Queen of Hearts. Um, so that fo that forty five health, it's going to make a bit of a difference. I'd still pick her over a lot of things anyway. So, yeah, pretty good. Now here we go. This is a great great changes for me. Not so good for Moradam. We've there's a big dwarven rework. Um, they didn't like dwarves stomping people, which happened quite a lot. <laughs> and they're, they're, they're reining them in. So Tweedledee's interesting now. It, Tweedledee's a lot more interesting. Um, he, he was originally a 4-1, right? And then they changed to someone to 1-4. Then they changed him with a 3-2 to someone to 2-3. Now he's a 6-1. And then he was re-summoned with his attack and health swap. So if you've got like a fanny behind him, he becomes 8-3. And then he summons a 3-8, which then becomes a 5-10, right? So, very interesting. Very interesting, um, like, buffing him with various things to make him better. Uh, if you've got, like, a Mim behind him, he'd be 9-1. And then he would summon a 1-9, which would then become a 4-9 with the buff. And it would be good, wouldn't it? So, yeah, it's interesting. Very interesting. I mean, you really want to buff his health because then that would be buffing his attack as well. So, you know, it'd make Baby Root better on him. But um, I can still think he's a bit rubbish for a four. Oh, God, he's a four. Okay, he's terrible. Sorry. Scratch that. He's a tier four now. Okay, well, useless. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Um, right. <laughs> um, angry has been changed from a 410 to a 515. That is a massive buff. That is an absolutely massive buff to him. Um, so yeah, good good news for him. But here's a massive, massive mega nerf, giga nerf. Princess White, now your doors get plus one, plus one, which is like basically irrelevant. Um, so yeah, yeah, that guts dwarves completely. Um, Lordy's been changed to not count Princess White because obviously there's no way in hell you're going to be running Princess White in your end game dwarf build. Um, they've removed Bossy because they've they've given they've given you Princess White uh, instead, which is just useless. So brilliant, they lose Bossy. Crafty's been changed. He, he doesn't get as big. So uh, Crafty would go from a ten ten to a twenty twenty, wouldn't he? Um, now he'd go. 
<laughs> max. Max, he was 10 10. Now, max, he gets to be an 8 8, which is 16 16, which is still good. And you can split it. The fact that you can actually pick him early game now, though, people, a lot more people are going to pick Crafty. Like, Crafty was so terrible as a 1 1, but he got so good, like, even after one. One treasure, he was a 4-4, four, four. and now, they, now he's the same after one treasure, right? And he only falls off after two or three. But you're still quite happy to have him, so I think Crafty has got quite a big boost there, to be honest. And I would often run Crafty in loads of decks, just to have a 20-20, like, that's great stats for a, a triple tier two, isn't it? And now he's still going to be a 16-16, which is still totally fine. And he doesn't wreck you in the early game, like, it's not a horrible gamble to take. Okay, here we go, the State of Slay. Grimsoul, woohoo! And they've they've changed uh, Chipper and Shadow Assassin. So Grimsoul back in the back in the pool is great because you know everyone loved everyone loved uh, po Poliwoggle. Everyone loves Poliwoggle. Everyone loved Grimsoling a Poliwoggle. This makes uh, Wonder Waddle a lot better now that you can Grimsoul upgraded Poliwoggles a lot more easy than anyone else. And just in general, it's interesting, isn't it? Everyone likes Grimsoul. Lancelot has got a much needed boost. He's absolutely rubbish, really. Um, <laughs> he's been rubbish. It's so hard for him to ever get slays as a 7 7 and, and trigger his. To try to trigger his quest manually from actually getting slays is like so difficult. Uh, it, it, either way you trigger it is by like the plus 10 attack or plus 10 health um, treasures or by uh, upgraded. Godmother, so like you could just never ever genuinely get his 25 really. Whereas now you can do it maybe like you know if you get him on five and nine nine isn't that far behind the curve. So you can you can get him on five a lot more likely now. Shadow Assassin is really interesting. Shadow Assassin is now <sighs> um it's so much better out of the box. A 2-4 ranged for 3 is insanely powerful compared to, like, you know, <laughs> it was 2-1. Now it's 2-4. Like, it's so powerful. And it's, uh, it only grows its attack, not its defense. But it's it takes 3 buffs, and it's back to where it would have been anyway, right? So it takes four buffs to, to, to impact that on its defense. Now it stops the ludicrously scaled ones of like 60-60s and stuff in the late game. Um, and they're always vulnerable to like, uh, you know, lightning bolts and what have you. But it's so much more powerful on three. It's going to be a great thing just to take on three, I think, because it's just, it's just so much more powerful as a three, tier three, without so much slay support. Um, now, Chupacabra. It, it was really OP when it gave itself and the characters behind it plus one, plus one. Now it only gives them plus two attack. Um, which is kind of good in a way that it makes itself more likely to slay. Um, and it makes them more likely to kill things or whatever. But obviously it stops the ludicrous combo of gigantic things behind it. But it's still going to be kind of powerful. It's just going to be frail. Like, obviously range doesn't need defense as much. So it's still going to be, you know, interesting to use. I think quite good. Now the Riverwish Mermaid. It's funny. Uh, some people love this card. I kind of hated it because a four-four just doesn't do anything, does it? Like, and it it's got quite a powerful effect. To be fair, you know, if you get it on pretty early. But now four-eight, it's still pretty rubbish. But at least it's not killed by fireballs. Uh, you know, so many dragons, and. Its ability could be quite good, as the it's the only way you can actually grow the health of your Shadow Assassin and stuff. So it'll be interesting, an interesting change with that. Um, this is crazy. They've really buffed, they've really buffed the Pumpkin King, which I thought was one of the best things anyway. It was only a five-five, and for six, and I still loved it. And now it's a ten-ten, and it's and not only is that if you've got tier two characters. It summons a, a cat for each tier two that died. It's crazy. They've massively buffed Pumpkin, which I thought was already one of the best late game comps anyway. So brilliant, brilliant news. Nice one, Pumpkin. Um, exploding mittens removed. Interesting. I, I actually quite like mittens. Uh, it's good that there's. It's not you know <laughs> the angry ang 
feeding angry was really bad, but it was quite a good ability sometimes. Now that's gone. Um, copycat. Yes, guys, <laughs> look at this copycat here. Uh, 212 always survive, now it's 28, so it will sometimes die before it attacks. I think that's a fair. I think that's, I mean, that's exactly what I said. It's a fair thing. There's more chance to disrupt it. Um, it's still powerful, though. The monster book. I hated it as a tier 5. And now it's a tier 4 with less stats, but it's still got the it's still got the same powerful last breath. So yeah, I think that's um I think I might actually take it now for four. I hated taking it for five because it was competing with Siren, which is so much better, and Neon, which is so much better. Or more powerful. Um now on tier four you can you could definitely take it in like some kind of evil team. Um, matchmaking improvements, that's nice, isn't it? Um, and there's some animations that look nice. <laughs> New arts that look nice. They they just had placeholder arts for these before. And now they've got the proper arts for these cards. So that's nice. <laughs> and then there's some talk about engineering, which I don't understand. Um, bug fixes. Loki and Genie's wish casting XP spells at level 6 was terrible, wasn't it? Um, Peter Pants. Uh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Mousing over enemy characters no longer increases your odds of attacking them. That can't be real, can it? <laughs> um, oh, click and hold. Well, there you go. So, um... <laughs> right... <laughs> that is that is it. I think that's a pretty. I think they're kind of cool changes. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the return of Slayer if it is overpowered, not growing their butts. Um, see if Mermaid is more, you know, pick more now that got a bit better stats. I think Shadow Assassin will be splashed more in non-Slay things. Uh, Going to be great polywoggling again. Um, great that dwarves are pretty much dead. That's fantastic news. And. Uh, yeah, super excited to try the Sphinx and King Midas. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.